Hey everybody, it's me, Alex, and Frankie once again, and this isn't the typical style review like before, just showing pictures and whatnot, but as you can see, you are seeing gameplay footage, and this is of Sonic Adventure 2. Oh yeah, goodness. last time we wanted to do both adventure games in one video, well, it would have been like a three hour long video, and I wasn't about to do all that, so. Yeah, no, it was not gonna <laughs> happen, so, um... Yeah, this you can see that we have gameplay now. It, I'm going to be picking out specific parts, as usual. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be very interesting this time. So, how about we just jump right into it? Uh, with... Sonic Adventure 2... What's up? Is, yeah, go ahead. ...is obviously, if you can't tell by the title, a direct sequel to Sonic Adventure. And it was the game, it was the game that celebrated the Hedgehog's 10th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And it was the last major release on the Dreamcast that I could think of. Yeah, I think it was, it was definitely the last Sega published game, but it uh, was definitely one of the last... Main but I think most ones. people know it because of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on the GameCube, which was a lot more popular. And it is honestly better in a lot of ways. Well, we'll talk about the comparisons later. Um, Sonic Adventure 2 is similar in terms of the core gameplay, but it's also drastically different. Um, you still have six playable characters, but it's only broken up into two storylines now. Hero and Dark. Yeah. In the hero side, there are, oh, first things first, major change, there are no hub worlds this time. Nope, it's pretty, it's level to level, just like the classic games. And um, each storyline is um, split into three characters. So the hero side story, you play as Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. On the dark side, you play as Dr. Eggman, which I think is the first time you can playable in a main yeah. game. I'd say in general, honestly. I mean... No, Sonic R. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> in terms of an actual action platformer, first time. It's pretty action. I it's think it's the only action. time! <laughs> and in terms of the story, <clears throat> it makes way more sense than what Tails is for. But We'll, get, we'll circle back to that. And two newcomers, which are... Uh, Rouge the Bat and um, Shadow the Hedgehog, yeah. who is kind of the focal point of the story. Yeah, and what's weird is with Rouge, I mean, her design, I mean, it's weird. It's literally just a human body with a bat head. She's waifu. She's waifu. Yeah. That's what she's supposed dude, to do. Dude, whenever you get a power <laughs> up or whenever you finish the stage, her boobs just go ba bonk, ba bonk, ba bonk. I'm like, why? Why am I looking at that first off? And it's like Dead why or Alive. Are they doing that? It's like it's like we're playing Dead or Alive or something. Yeah, yeah, but it's a kids' game. This is what happens when you get horny developers in um, and show this stuff. First things first, graphically, major step up from the first game. Yes, and you're seeing footage of the HD version from the PC port, so it's gonna look hella better than it ever does on. The GameCube, Dreamcast, or even... But the even Xbox if you just compare game. the two Dreamcast games, Sonic Adventure, Sonic, Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2 looks so much better than Sonic Adventure 1. Yeah, they're able to hit 60 frames per second pretty much almost the entire game. There are a few cutscenes that were running at 30-ish. I was like, well, this is weird. But the GameCube version is 60 all the way through. There are, um, there are things about Adventure 2 that are objectively better than Adventure 1. But there are things about Adventure 1 I also like more. We'll talk more about that toward the end. Um, now, most people, when they play the game, are going to pick the hero side story first because that's where Sonic is. So we're going to talk about the hero story first, then we're going to talk about the dark story. Next, yes. And then, so the, of course, the last story. So the hero side story starts weird. Like, Sonic is captured by the government? Yeah, the oh. agency. Yeah, there, there's no telling why it happened. Uh, you have a dark story to figure that out, but... Well, they don't even show how he got captured, but what happens is he just breaks out, and he's like, fuck, well, he says, fuck this shit, knocks all the guards out, jumps out, and he's like, I right, fuck this shit, I'm out of here, and takes a Then you have one of the best intro stages ever, City Escape. Yes, and with the most iconic music that you're hearing right Rolling now. Rolling around at the speed of sound. We're out of sync, but that's okay. Anyway. Like City Escape is such a fun introduction level. It goes hard. I, th 
I think it's a better introduction level than Emerald Coast was, to be 100% honest with you. I mean, I think Emerald Coast has the, is the better aesthetic in terms of Sonic. But I think City Escape is a more fun stage. Yes, it's a, it's a lot more adrenaline than Rushed. I mean, it, I mean, for the first, like, 30 seconds or so, you're going full fucking four speed down. A, and down something a, about that, too. San Francisco zone, you know? Adventure 2 is a lot faster than Adventure 1. Yes, a least, lot faster. I mean, you can go fast in Adventure 1 really fast, but this is, this game's uh, level design, especially for... Her, it's uh, very railroaded. It's yes. a very linear game. Mm-hmm. Which is fine. I mean, for this game, it works. Uh, it's a little aged on the controls, but it it, it works, I, I'd say. Um, yeah, no, Adventure 2 is still very... I can still play Adventure 2 and have a good time with it. Generally yeah, I mean, speaking, I'll talk about my little issues later. Um, yeah, I'll talk about the worst stages, in my opinion, too, when we get to them. But in terms of this stage, um, one of my favorites. One of my fucking favorites in the game. I can't to say the it's point where but it's good. To the top, I mean, this is the level they brought back for generations, so... I mean, they brought back a lot of Sonic Adventure 2 levels, when you think about it. For, for in generations? Oh, I thought you meant Frontiers. No, I said generations, bro. Whoops, whoops. Um, so after you beat City Escape, you get the first boss, which I believe is called, um, Bigfoot. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a real... It's a weird name, but also if you look at the text scrolling, you can see that there actually is stuff being said. And the thing, too, the bosses in this game are, aside from the two final bosses, are horrible. Yeah, they're okay. I mean, if you're, like, five or six, I mean, these are okay enough. I would... (laughs) I was six years... Wait, when did uh, Adventure 2 come out on GameCube? Uh, 2000, uh, 2000, 2002, yeah. Okay, so I was seven years old. I'd say for that age, these are fine. Because we gotta remember, um, we have to look at this with the lens of a kid and also an adult. So what they think, we're like, oh, this is actually kind of a little hard, you know? And, and then that's how they develop their skills and get better at it as a gamer. So I mean, if it's you... Hard, are... It's hard to do that now, but it, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I mean, it's not a bad boss. I mean, it actually is kind of a bad boss. None of the bosses in this game, aside from the two final bosses, are anything to write home about, but... No, at the camera's way too upset, upset <laughs> Sonic's ass, in my opinion. Yeah. So and, after you yeah. beat the boss, um, you go to the next stage, Wild Canyon. Oh, wait, we- hold on, but we, we forgot one thing. Someone oh, we meet up. Shadow for the first time! It all starts with this. The jewel containing the ultimate... I gotta power. admit, Shadow gives off a very intense first impression. Yeah, he's he, I, I, his characterization is, is more... Not badass, but... Well, it's a mixture of badass and cool. And uh, ego. This is before be- he became Super Edgelord. Like, yeah. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. <laughs> I, I actually like Shadow's characterization... In, like, this, and I can't believe I'm going to say this, in Forces. Ooh, that's sad. That's it, though. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, so, we meet Shadow. He uses his uh, Chaos Control, shows off that stuff that he can pretty much warp anywhere he wants. Which, I don't understand then... how anybody mistakes Sonic for Shadow. Yeah, that people are stupid in this universe. Like, the only similarity is... As they're hedgehogs. I mean, shadow spikes are even up different. <laughs> Maybe they're colorblind. I don't know. It's stupid. So, yep. It, uh, then it, it shows it. Sonic being shown by some gun soldiers and uh-oh spaghettios. We'll circle back to that, because now, now we have to cut away to Knuckles with this bat lady who is trying to steal the Master Emerald, and then Eggman takes it and Knuckles punches it. It's like, oh. Okay. Like, why was Rouge after the Master Emerald? They never explained that. It was just like, she's there. No, he just basically says, like, he's just staring off with her. And he's like, it's like, this is my Emerald. And she's like, no, all the Emerald Sims are mine to keep. And they're just arguing back and forth. And he explains how he has to protect the Emerald and yada yada. No. And that's when Eggman's like, this is just, he's like, I'm out of here, bitch, with this thing. This is, where, this is where. I have issues with this game. Yeah, uh, the reason oh. for Knuckles' inclusion kind of pisses me off, but uh, yeah, go ahead. 
I do not like the treasure hunting in Adventure 2. I understand. Nowhere. Uh, it's so much better in Adventure 1. I don't really care what anyone says. Yeah, the stages in Adventure 1 are a lot more condensed. I mean, right The now, radar they, is just better. Yeah, because in Adventure 1. Yeah, if you're looking at the screen now, you can see that there is one Emerald Peak showing, <coughs> um, but the other two are grayed out. I don't understand this. There's obviously really? mods on PC that I, can restore I, the original one from Adventure 1. But and the, the stupid part is you can still find them. Like, they're still just there. If you find them, you find them. And like, they're a little bit, and they're a lot harder to see, though. So sometimes you just kind of, like, barely see eye of the vision of your corner of your vision. And like, some oh, of yeah, Knuckles' oh. levels can go on forever. Yeah, but we'll get to each one when we get there, you know? Cause I mean, this God. is honestly one of Knuckles' better stages. Doesn't mean I like it. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's not bad. It's just a decent introductory level to how Knuckles controls. Because let me see. Then Knuckles there's controls. a big time jump. Yeah. That gets filled in in the dark story, but there's a giant jump to where Tails is going to the prison island to go rescue Sonic. Yes. And I think his plane is called the Cyclone. I don't think this is the tornado. <laughs> uh, yeah, he says, uh,. I think it says Cyclone Transform. Oh, he says Tornado Transform, and then later he says, uh, let me show you how powerful my Cyclone is. Hmm. So which is it, Tails? Yeah, uh, the Tornado Cyclone? Anyway, um, Amy is there being chased by Eggman. Tails goes to save her, and uh, you have the first character battle. First things first, Tails is in a mech. Like, Why? Uh... Well, because people want him playable, and they were like, fuck. Does not make any sense for Tails. In Adventure 1, he could run freely, he could fly, he could do the Tails attack, he could jump, he could do the things you want Tails to do. This is so restrictive for Tails. Yeah, it should have been just a different character altogether, honestly. Like, or pick, make a new character for that kind of, like, mech. Because Tails yeah. does not fit at all, and there's probably a reason. Or, or, you, could have, you, could have, you, could, you could have just not had Tails in the game. Yeah. I'll talk about how I think we could have made this game better later, but Tails and Eggman, it implies that Tails wins the fight. Yeah. But. It, it, I mean, speaking, of, speaking of that. Um, there is well, some. Well, confusion. actually, it's kind of like a tie because Eggman looks at his mech and he sees that the, the timer is getting. There's so still. Like, I gotta get out of here. There's confusion about the ending of the two storylines, and I'm actually going to explain it because I have looked into it and I know exactly what happens. What? For the ending of the Hero in the Dark story, there's some confusion on it, so I'm actually going to explain when we get there. Um, I think I might know, but go on. All right, let's let's. So okay. Prison Lane is actually not a bad level. I just don't like Tails in a mech. I disagree. I think it's actually a pretty mediocre to bad stage. Really, I don't think it's a bad level. It's yeah, not the. It, it's not his worst stage. I don't. Well, the design itself is bad. It's the enemy <laughs> placement that can fucking go die. Eggman's it's version of this level is better. Yeah, because there's many times that you're just running through the stage, and all of a sudden, you don't want to go full... You want to be running fast, obviously, right? You want to get through these stages quick. Yeah. But there's so many times where you're like, alright, this looks clear. All of a sudden, a gun troop just drops right in front of you. Bam! Lose your rings. Yeah. And what if you're trying to do a 100 ring run? These levels are a pain... This level's a pain in the ass on that, unless you've memorized it to death like me. It's pretty sad. I hate it. Uh, but, I mean, other than that, it's... Eh? But I mean, I, I don't. I usually don't go for the extra missions. I just do the base level because I, I don't ever give a shit about getting all the emblems. Yeah. Um. And then there's like the part where you have to get on the elevator going up. You're just you're just standing there waiting, just waiting. Yeah. Shoot so back. after hey. that, Amy rescues Sonic out of a prison cell with weird writing on it. We'll still we'll have a first look, full circle moment with that later. And then Metal Harbor is awesome. Oh, yeah. Metal Harbor is great. It's so intense, but it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, it's literally just a straight line from start to finish. Uh, like, it's an adrenaline rush. Yeah, and they brought, and it was such a good level, they brought it back for Frontiers. 
and it worked mm-hmm. pretty well for it. But basically, uh, you know, you go through the gun uh, area, just basically trying to get the f out of there. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, where is he going? He's trying to get off. He's trying to get off the island. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's basically going through guns, uh, ship ships and stuff to get yeah. to the green forest or whatever. Yeah. He's uh, he's, tr- he's trying to leave. That's all he's doing. He's trying to get the hell out of there. Yeah, but this level is iconic for many things because the first this is where you get the light speed dash. Yeah, this and... is the first level up you get is the light speed dash. Yeah, uh, and it's so much better in this game. Yeah, and I forgot to mention in the first level you do get the magic gloves, but I didn't bother getting them. There's no point in them. It's just it's like you could turn Sonic into a Pokemon trainer. And then there you go. Throw them at enemies and boom, they're dead. It's no, there's no point to it. I've never seen any reason to use it. So it's dumb. back to that. Um, yeah, after you get the light uh, speed dash, it's a little bit, it's a lot different than Sonic Adventure One, I'd say, because instead of having to charge up a spin dash, you just push B, bam, you know, or X. You know, I usually hit X on an Xbox controller. Just it's so sense. much. It's just so much better here. Like, it, and they use it every time the light speed dash comes back. It's this version. So. Yeah, I only hate it when you're you have to push it over, push the B button over when you're in the air after a jump because you might accidentally do the bounce bracelet. We'll get back right to the, we'll, yeah, we'll talk about mm-hmm. that in a bit. Mm-hmm. That'll be on the at the end of problems I have with the game too. So, you get the power up, and then you just blaze through some more shit, and then you get towards the end. And then you have to go to the top of the rocket within a certain amount of time, which is about, what, 15 seconds, I'd say? It can be a pain in the ass to get it just right. Yeah, and it is so satisfying when you're able to pull it off, (laughs) because you get 1,500 points, and... You go up a little higher, but there's really nothing different other than just probably getting that special animal there for the chow and yeah. bragging rights. But it's actually for the A rank, unless you get every rank, doesn't matter. Um, the, yeah, the, the, unless you yeah, unless you get every rank, this is the only way to get the A rank. And then, then the last part of the level I don't understand is that you're going through uh, a tube on a board, and then you appear on the ground again. With really badass music, though. Oh god, yeah. It is criminally short, honestly. But it's still good. I wish it was in there a lot more, but mm, who knows? Maybe After that, you get kind of a bad, boring boss fight against Shadow. (laughs) Oh, boy. Uh, This this AI, I tell you, it's a bit better than the Adventure 1 character battles in terms of the AI, but that's not saying much at all. But, But he's the coolest. I'm the coolest. Yes. Then we have another good level after that, because I don't want to spend too much time on these boss fights and stuff. Um, I know, yeah. But you just basically just... Uh, just wait, just wait, jump wait. out of the way, hit him in the back. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, and then he's done easily. But we forgot to mention the legendary cutscene that comes beforehand. <laughs> I, oh, the audio syncing is so bad <laughs> in this game, in general. Just, yeah, you yeah. can hear it right now. It's so bad. I mean, when he's like, I... Faker, I don't think you're the fake hedgehog around here. Well, no, you're comparing yourself to me. Ha, huh, you're not even good enough to be my. Don't make you eat those words. Yeah, he's not even. They're not even moving their lips. He's not done talking, and Tom <clears throat> just cuts him off. Yeah, it's like fuck. It's, you. Ru- it's rude. And yeah, then we have Green Forest, which is also another really fun stage, I think. All right, so then this is one of my favorite levels of the, you know, speed stages and just Sonic in general. And they brought this also back for Frontiers. Frontiers. I, I think it's honestly better in Frontiers in terms of control. Because, sure, this is a great stage and all, but it's the one thing about Sonic Adventure 2 is the collision detection. You'll see a bit of a collision detection issue a little bit later down the road. But, uh, yeah, like, you'll either, like, freak out off the walls or you'll freaking run up a wall and just get stuck it's very bizarre sometimes but you you can get the ancient light here to do light speed attack but it's kind of useless in this game yeah and it's also kind of very out of the way too you have to like jump off towards somewhere the camera can't go and then there's a there's a level up item in every level aside from the final level yeah i hate this camera in this game because of things like that yeah it's not great it's like what happened? I don't know. It 
I mean, Adventure 1 gave you camera control, but I don't think it was not this, like, snappy. <laughs> so after this <laughs> level, we go back to Knuckles and Pumpkin Hill, and, uh... Yeah. This is where the Knuckles stages really start to fall apart. I think this is the biggest they should have gone, honestly. Yeah, because after this, they just get bigger and bigger and bigger, and it's... Oh, it's fucking annoying. Uh, Knuckles, my friend, Patrick Knuckles. I'm sorry, but your character's level suck in this game. But if you know... Yeah, after Pumpkin Hill is when I start to not like Knuckles' in stages. Uh, but the music is terribly great. But honestly... Did you ever see the video of the dude in a skeleton mask dancing to it? <laughs> I think everybody has. It's so good. Yeah, I, it's like, why? But, I mean, the official sign on Twitter shared it, so, of course. But the stage itself, you know, it's big, but not constrictive. So that's why I give it a pass. Because, you know, you can actually get one place to the other very easily. So then we go back to Tales with Mission Street, and I'm not a fan of this stage. Really at all. Well, what up? What, Miss App? Because we went to Pumpkin the Hill. Yeah, then Mission Street. Mission Street's next. Are you sure? Yeah, Mission Street's level 7. Huh, weird. Okay. M no, you're, think, you're, you're thinking of the driving level. We haven't gotten there yet. I thought there was another stage before that. I thought no, was, no, I, no. I thought it should be Aquatic Mine. Oh, no, because Aquatic Mine is after Mission. Okay. Anyway, enough of that confusion. Go ahead. Oh, oh my god. Someone's knocking on my door. Keep it going. Mm -hmm. So Mission Street is a what-the-hell kind of stage. Because in the scene prior, Eggman just, like, blew up the whole ship. Or, not, or blew up the ship. Blew up the moon. the moon! Yeah, part of the moon. And uh, it's like, oh, no, he is from space. So Tails has a fake emerald and, he, and they run off. It's really weird, and also the audio is all bugged out. The audio's bugged out through the whole goddamn game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, why, this why is the most famous band here. Yeah, I shouldn't even mention that. It's like, <laughs> duh. Uh, but yeah, I don't really like this scene all that much. Um, no, it's just very bland. It's not even hard, it's just bland. Yeah, it's just, I mean, you can get his hover item here. Yeah, that makes it the navigation scheme a lot easier, and the platforming a lot less intense. Because you actually have a little bit more room for error. There's going to be... a So, last time we played a Sonic was on stage 5. We don't play a Sonic again until stage 11. Yeah. In a Sonic game. Mm -hmm. It's pretty weird. I don't like that structure. Like, I'm, I'm going to bitch about this now. Um, That's something I like about Adventure 1 more. Is that Sonic, despite there being multiple characters, Sonic was still the focus. He had double the stage length of everybody, which he should. He's the main character. In this game, he has one more stage than everybody else, and that's it. Because mm -hmm. he's got the most levels in the game, which is six. Like, what? <laughs> It's not a lot of Sonic in a Sonic There's game. 30 stages in the... 31 stages counting Cannon Score. And only six of them are Sonic. That's bad. Yeah, it's even worse for Shadow. Oh, we'll get there. Don't worry. Um, yeah, so Mission Street. Blah. And then we go to Aquatic Mine. Blah. Yeah, uh... It's you, there's an ass. item. In, there's an item in here that's optional. I would oh, argue cool. it's almost mandatory. Yeah, we'll get to that eventually because I kind of fucked up because I didn't get it in this part of in this first run. I was more focused on just getting the level done. I mean, the way you do it is you have to manipulate switches and then go find all that. You know, yeah, aquatic mine sucks. Yeah, it's not very good. Uh, I mean, the music's kind of calming. I won't lie. Oh, oh, it's uh, it's great. It's the best Knuckles theme in the game. In Death Chamber, but we'll get the, we'll get there. Uh, yeah, but yeah, though this level sucks. And yeah. then we have a driving level. 
Oh, goody, why is that? Why are we driving, by the way? What's the, what's the context? Um, Because Tails is trying to catch up to the president, so Sonic can break into his car, hack his device to get to the Space Colony Ark. And for some reason, Knuckles is there. Pretty much. Like, why? Oh, by the way, the driving section is Tails in a, in his plane converted into a car. For some reason. Yeah, I don't know how he went from a cityscape, pretty, you know, condemned city, to a fucking, fucking near space highway from near the atmosphere. I love how the background is just like a JPEG of San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just, it's on repeat. <laughs> And in the HD port, it's even more noticeable because of the higher resolution. But yeah, though, these driving levels are two of them in the game. They're fucking terrible. So they tried to put, like, a Mario Kart mode to the multiplayer, and it's just not. No. Yeah, every time you beat a, a <laughs> racing stage, all two of them, you get more, like, carts, stages, or something like that. Yay! <laughs> and the two-player mode for it. It's like, okay, cool. Because when the way you see the car driving... You have two kinds of steering, two like stiff steering, but then you have to like go with the gas for a bit, and then you can like kind of start swerving, and it feels like you're actually turning. Yeah, so then we heavy, have um. There's no point of jumps because uh, you just drop immediately, and then you can boost with a Y button. Yeah, so then we have um, <laughs> hidden base, which is another tail stage. Boy, I honestly think this is probably Tails' best level. Yeah, let yeah. me explain like, stuff. Why did I record gameplay? Oh, excuse me. Explain your stuff. Yeah. Like I said, Tails in this has a boost feature, and he can go really fast. And it acts like it's a little bit of a uh, racing stage, but it's really, really bleh. And also, he can send cars flying to their deaths. I love to it. be clear, I haven't seen any of this footage, so I don't know when he's syncing this up. So <laughs> Yeah. So I should have probably mentioned we should have described the stages a bit more. Yeah, we, we forgot the most important part of the first stage. So I'll show that. It's like, what are you talking about? You'll see. You'll see it. You'll see. You'll see if it. you haven't oh, played yeah. this game, came out twenty-one years ago. If you haven't played it by now, I don't know what you're doing. That's true. That <laughs> yeah, that's your that's your fault. It's like Ocarina of Time. That's that's your fault. <laughs> like, if you're a Sonic fan, you haven't played Sonic Adventure Two. I what? <laughs> yeah, what? Get get your 360 going, get your PC going, get your, get your Xbox going. One go. get your Xbox Series X going, just download it on there. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm not gonna get all the footage scramble, I'm gonna keep it consistent. But, but anyway, uh, as I was saying, hidden base... You wait, you, wait, you catch up to the president, it looks like somebody shot, assassinated the president through the window. Like, what the fuck? How much is that president in the window? Bang, bang! Oh. Oh, damn. I don't know what that's from, but okay. I just made that up. I think it's supposed to be the shadow of the driver, but it looks like somebody assassinated the president. Uh, I, I... <laughs> it really <laughs> does. It looks if like we, a bullet hole. Oh, if we were fucking popular YouTubers, we just got demonetized right there. <laughs> mm. Oh, well. But anyway, hidden base. Can I talk about it now? Yes. Thank you. This is probably, in my opinion, Tails' best level. Doesn't mean it's that good, though. <laughs> it's his worst. Really? I had such a hard time fucking level as a kid. I don't know. I don't think it's that bad. Now I don't have a problem with it at all, but, like, falling in the sand and enemies having shitty pop-up placement and, I, I don't know, just something about the first half of the stage pissed me off, but the other half was a bit easier, I'd say, but that's not saying much of anything good about the stage. It's it's none of Tails' levels are particularly great. No, no, it's just like eh... Eggman's are just so much better. So, um, with that level going, there's nothing really interesting about it. Other than getting his uh ancient light, which you can't get. Unless you get his Vulcan cannon. It's not called the Ancient Light. It's called the Mystic Melody, you stupid asshole. Shut your face. Only Sonic and Shadow get the Ancient Light for the light speed attack. Have you ever seen Tails do the light speed attack? It's amazing. Tails can't do the light speed attack! <laughs> There's probably a mod out there for it, not gonna I'm lie. Sure. Uh, probably. 
Oh. Oh. Anyways, called, it's called the Mystic Melody. Okay, the Mystic Melody. Thank you. Which every character could get, actually. Yeah. I only got it with a few characters. I didn't get it with any of the... Uh, I mean, characters. it's only needed to get the Chow in those missions. and Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's no point in really doing that unless you want to unlock Green Hill. Well, we'll talk about that at the end. Um, no, so I don't have footage of that because my data is all gone. It Yay! Is... I thought it saved to the cloud, but I guess it doesn't. Well, don't, I mean, do you have it on the Xbox? I'm on Steam. No, I mean, do you have the game, the uh, Green Hill on the Xbox? Or I, I probably do. All right. Then. I have I um, I have it on my GameCube version. So yeah, I have it on my GameCube and Dreamcast. Anyway, so I want to talk about the next level now because I'm tired of talking about Tails. Me too. So we're finally back to Sonic Pyramid Cave. I think this is Sonic's worst level. Yeah, it's not particularly great. Uh... You get the bounce bracelet here, which is cool. But the level itself is just not as interesting as the previous three levels. Mm -hmm. And it took us so long to get back to Sonic, and they give us this. <laughs> yeah. As a kid, <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 took longer for me to beat because I'd get so sick of playing as other characters. Like, you I mean, just want to play as Sonic. And... I want to be... I want to be a Sonic. It's a Sonic I, game. I want to play a Sonic. Yeah. And at least with Adventure 1, you weren't forced to play anybody else, technically. If you just wanted to be Sonic and not do anything else, you could literally just be... Yeah, the other characters are there for more incentive for you to be like, hey, what do I get? But the main bulk of the game in Adventure 1 was still Sonic. I would have liked Adventure 2 was set up <laughs> with each character having their own storyline. I think it's how it was supposed to be originally. Oh, great. <laughs> we'll get there. Um, so after Pyramid Cave, you get to Death Chamber. Yeah, but there's nothing really interesting about this stage either. It's just so fucking big. Yeah, I know. It's like eight quarters, but like... Double the dive. size. Yeah, I mean, this is where you get the, uh, what do you call it? Not the shovel claw, the, the, the metal knuckle, I think, or something like that? Hammer gloves or something? Yeah, because this know. lets you break metal crates, and, um, yay. Yeah, but getting it, he looks so stupid with it. Oh, God, every, getting the characters fully upgraded, they look ridiculous. Sonic looks fine. Shadow Sonic looks fine. and Shadow look fine. And ta uh, actually, Eggman with the, with the red armor piece actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, and but, I never noticed this, but like, you know how his cannon just looks like a cannon at first? Yeah. When you get the Vulcan cannon, it shows a frickin', like, magazine clip on the top of his gun now. Oh, I never noticed that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm gonna show <laughs> it right now. I mean, look at that. Look at that. So Nice. Cool. But, anyway. um, anyway, Death Chamber is just kind of a big, obnoxious level, and I don't like it. <laughs> That's just that I, I don't like it. <laughs> the design is, like, very circular. And there's maps. Of, like There the are times where I've been in this level in, like, four minutes. There are times where it's taken me 15, 20. This level is so random. Yeah, I've had a lot of good luck with this level because um, every stage, even the shittiest stage of the bunch of the hunt, treasure hunting stages will get there. Uh, I actually have had pretty good luck. I believe, other than maybe one stage. Must be nice, Alex! Yeah, maybe that's why I beat the game in one day. I mean, I could beat this game in one sitting if I really wanted to. I've done it. Yeah, but well, you, you didn't expect me to do this, did you? I did not. I thought you were just going to record a little bit of your character be done with it. I didn't think you were going to play the whole fucking game. But... No. Uh, but there's... Was there, what story was in between... Uh, or right before Sonic... Oh. So they... We're trying to track down uh, where Eggman was after they got the video footage. You know, because they needed to get it. They needed to get a ship to get to the Ark, and they found a ship in this pyramid where Eggman, Shadow, and Rouge were. Yeah. So that was, the only way they found out about that was by going through to the president, like we said, when they found the president, and they had to get the disc or something like that to find where it was broadcasting from, and that's when they went, "Okay, we're going to go to." 
you know, desert, and then boom, that, 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 that's it. And for some reason, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about what's there when we get there. But so after, after that, um, after, um, after Death Knuckles Chamber, you boss. fight a ghost. Yeah, my, I think probably one of the best bosses in the game. Uh, yeah, yeah, because there's such a high bar for them. <laughs> I know, that's sad. You, it, this boss freaks me out. Because if you run too close to him, he makes this like weird noise, and swear to God, he's saying my name. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, that's what's always sounded like in my brain. Oh my God! No, it's ruined. It's ruined. I, I, ever since I was a kid, I was like, is he saying my name? How does he know my name? And it yeah, terrifies me. That only happens when you. When you run the opposite way of where he's coming at you too fast, he'll turn around. And he's just... <laughs> I, know he's prob- I know he's probably just saying gibberish, but it sounds like my name. It's supposed to be... Rrr, 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 like but it Frank sounds voice. like Frankie Frankie, and I'm like... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why did you do that? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> Fuck you! No. Now I have to edit that in because that just makes sense. <laughs> but My he's not God. that hard. He's really not that hard to beat it. You can cheese it, too. If you run, instead of running behind him, you run to his side, you can get him multiple times than just once, so. Yeah. It's really not a terrible, it's not a terribly hard fight. It's pretty good. It uses Knuckles' abilities pretty there, well. And then after that, um, they're like, Knuckles like, oh, thank God. But then Eggman, like, tries to, like, be like, hey, I'm here. And Sonic's like, hey, bring it on, dickhead. The Sonic yeah. and Eggman never fight in this game. Not once. Yeah, they, this is the only confrontation they actually have. But then Eggman sends this weird robot thing. Well, it's a golem thing that apparently, from what I gathered, as you can tell from the thing on the top of its head, uh, he just broke. He just put something on it to control it. It was already there, I think. Yeah, I don't know if it, this is implying that it was sentient before and it did its own thing. And he awokened it, which I would love to see in the Adventure, Re- Adventure 2 remake to elaborate on everything in this game, because there's a lot of, uh, uh, tell, there's more tell than show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of like what Final Fantasy XV did, but anyway, yeah, like, uh, but after that, you know, you take the bot down, and then you're like, alright, shit, we're out of here! And then all of a sudden you just... They just start running into a ship, and then all of a sudden the top of the pyramid just opens up, and you're like, "What the?" Fuck? And then it, it then imagine, shoots up in the screen. What some Egyptians thought when they saw that happen in the game, like, like in then, the real like, world, just playing this, going, "What?" For some reason, Knuckles starts like fucking with them, like fucks with the controls, which opens the hatch to let the master herbal pieces out because Knuckles see it. No. And- no, what happens is just Sonic accidentally, like, bumps into something, and Sonic says, like, hey, watch it, the hatch is open. It's like, it's no problem. No problem? Hey, give me that. We need to go get that. And it's like, no, don't touch that lever. Oh, God, no! So Knuckles basically... Stop it! He, oh, no, he's angry. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but Knuckles basically uh, bails to go look for the Master Emerald pieces. That were flung out. Stop. And uh, then Tails has his final level, Eternal Engine, because they need to get the Chaos, the fake Emerald, into the cannon to destroy it, basically. Yeah, uh, I am not a big fan of this level whatsoever, because... Uh, uh, none of Tails' levels have really been good. <laughs> yeah, that's saying something, right? And it makes me go like, okay... Uh, screw this because <laughs> artificial chaos. The only way oh, fuck is... these things! So you can't hurt these things by any normal means other than getting right up on the face using like the, the punch attack or wait for them to use their tentacles, which may hit you may way more than half the time. Then shoot at them. It's stupid. I hate wait till them. we place. Wait till we talk about Shadow of the Hedgehog. Don't even. <sighs> I need to get my disc resurfaced to record footage for that piece of shit. You don't have... We can just go back to the pick. It's okay. No. The standard... <laughs> well, if I unless I don't have the game, then that's a different story. Yeah, because I don't have recording software right now. Um, 
one day when I can afford it. Well, I imagine you can get something cheap. I yeah, well, I mean, I want a new computer anyway. Before we... Regardless, um, after Turtle Engine, Sonic goes to plug in the fake Emerald, but then uh, Eggman calls him actually quite threateningly and has Amy at gunpoint. Yeah, he's going to kill her, basically, is what he said. And instead of doing something with that, we play as... But what's weird is, why didn't Sonic just put the fake Emerald in there first? And anyway. Then... <coughs> no, he should, have put, he should have put the Emerald in there to disable the cannon, and then go without, without Eggman's knowledge, and then go in there, and then stop Eggman. Oh, because to Eggman out. told him to bring the Emerald. Oh. So it was, a trade for, it was a trade for Amy's life. Sonic could have easily just sm like flew right in there and knocked Eggman right out of his ass. Well, you know. Don't give me that shit, Sonic that's... team. Right, listen. You're just trying I'm... to create artificial freaking uh, drama. Hey, uh, <laughs> yeah, and then we have fucking Meteor Herd. God damn. I think this almost alright. Not bad. It's too but... tall, man. Well, it's... Tall, yes, but it's a lot easier to get up there than it is with its counterpart level. Well, we'll uh, get there. We'll fucking get there. Don't you worry. I don't. I don't like this level. I liked it more in multiplayer than in single player. To be honest. Yeah, it's because because it, it's only condensed to one little area. So, yeah. I mean, they they what they should have done with this stage is not just make it a flat stage with like. Well, no, that's for Runa's stage, but I'll discuss that actually when we get there. But with this stage, uh, I don't really know what they could have done to make this really good. From, like, make, it less, make it less tall? <laughs> yeah, probably. Make it more like you're near, you're on, like, a platform, like, floating near the arc. Oh, wait, it, instead of being on a meteor. <laughs> I don't know. It, that seems like what it is. You're on a platform <laughs> near the arc. They should have just brought it closer to the top. So... After this level, you fight Rouge. Yeah, and also, I, I, have I mentioned Knuckles' speed? He is like, ridiculous! Yeah, and in this His stage... His acceleration right? is through the roof! Yeah, in this stage, you can find speed shoes in the ground if you're lucky enough. I've done it before on the GameCube. He is he has a different running animation for max speed, by the way. And he is, like, two times faster than Sonic at max speed. It's scary. I don't know how they programmed it that way. I don't think they put a speed cap on these characters because they never expect that. Did you, by any means of their level design, to go that fast for that long? Yeah, it's um, it's insane. I mean, it makes sense for the treasure hunting stages for the characters to be fast because, you know, you have to get around the levels quick, but still, still, that's crazy. I mean, if you've ever, you ever seen the video of, not, of Eggman running down the fucking... First level city escape, <laughs> uh, like in his mech, or no? Say that again. Have you ever seen the like first stage? Oh, city escape. Yeah, I've seen that. It's hilarious. <laughs> like just running, but in his mech, he is faster than he's running. The mechs have no speed cap. I swear to God. Anyway. It, yeah. Sorry. Uh. Uh. B roll. Go. Uh, just kidding. Anyway, yeah, there's a boss fight with Rouge, and it's... Eh. Yeah, I beat this boss in about 10, 15 seconds. Oh, so you can, beat this, you can beat this boss so quick. Yeah, it can be the quickest boss, or it can be one of the longer bosses, because of the camera being absolute fucking garbage. And, the, and just the level, or the design of it just being bad in general, because the AI just doesn't really try to do much. It just stands in a corner. Or it floats in the air. It's so satisfying though to do a dive attack and hit him. Yeah. That, that, that shit's nice. Yeah, so anyway, after that, uh, Rouge almost falls. Knuckles saves her, and then is like, "All right, here, master." We say, "Yeah." For some reason, Bay the cat's there. I don't know why he's there, but oh, we'll talk about the big cameos later. <laughs> yeah, but right now he's there. I mean, he's scratching his nuts. I mean, it's it's all good. I but, know um, that sounds fake, but yes, that, no, that, it's that, real. That, like it happens. Yes. <laughs> There's this cutscene where Eggman just scratches his head. Yeah, I love that. I love that. It's like, why? But um, after that, I think we have one of the hardest stages in the game, Crazy Gadget. Yes. Uh, 
Not, not, when I was playing through it this time, I didn't have much of an issue. With the, well, when you first get to the stage as a kid, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, just getting through the level itself is a pain because you have to deal with anti-gravity, which you can be familiar with if you played Sonic 3. But, but then the puzzle at the end, oh man. Yeah, I didn't do it the correct way as a kid. I don't know Me neither! I, I, yeah, I like... I just out. cheesed it. I just cheesed it. Yeah, I cheesed it as well. And doing it as Which I thought is how you were supposed to do it. But I was like, oh, wait, you're supposed to do it this way? What? <laughs> yeah, then when I became an adult and used critical thinking, I realized, oh my god, all I need to do is just follow the path. <laughs> yeah, it's, um... it's You get Sonic's flame ring here. Yeah, and it sucks if you miss the, the switch. It's like, oh, oh, no, now I gotta do it all over again. Yeah. And getting yeah. the chow in this one is a bitch. And getting the hard mission done in this is a bitch. Having yeah, this, a, the time limit is a bitch. I think it's probably the second hardest level in all this honesty. This entire level is a bitch. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. And then, for some reason, it could be this the next level could be either one of the easiest or one of the hardest boss fights because of how it's just... Yeah, so Sonic goes to save Amy uh, and then gets uh, put in a capsule, right? You turned into a big-time villain, Doctor. But Eggman launches him. And um, uh, oh. Sonic's like, can I really do this? And the thing just explodes. And you're like, what just happened? And... <laughs> Yeah, you're like, uh, and his eye is like really fucking weird. Like, he's but just... um, tails, tails, straight up defeats Eggman, kicks his fucking ass. Yeah, and the boss <laughs> in general is either the... really e easy or really hard. Like, yeah, yeah, it's the same as the last boss. Of, but of because the, the arena is so much more condensed, not even that. Well, a little bit of that. I mean, if yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah, uh, but the key to winning this boss easily is to actually get them near the middle piece of the... It's blow that thing up right in their face. Yeah. yeah, it does double damage, so try that. But just dodging the laser attack, I didn't have trouble with it this time, but in the... <laughs> it can be a pain time, because of how much, how much uh, range it has. Yeah, the trick is obviously just to keep running around him, but y you're just going to be like, oh my god, what do I do? Or you're going to be too close to him so you can't get around him in time, or... yeah. I don't know. It's hard to explain why it's so hard, but why it can also be so easy. But, um... A little bit of yeah. luck. So that fight happens, and, um... Knuckles is there, and he's like, I feel some strange energy, and Sonic just warps in. Sonic used the Chaos Control. Somehow with a fake emerald, but then again, Tails did say the wavelengths and properties are the same. Well, and... Uh, the Where thing is... That fake emerald, anyway. The, I'll... I'll oh, tell wait, you. No, he, no, he still has it. That's right. No, I'll, I'll tell you what happens to it. Yeah, I know. Not yet, but... Uh, in the Sonic special, has it currently, but I know what happened. Yeah. So he's going to take the thing, and he's going to go... So then you go through... Uh, front. For so know, then you go through Final Rush, which I love the fuck out of Final Rush. Yeah, this was one of my favorites as well for the stages. Um, because it's so open ended, you got a few like pathways to choose. And all this is definitely the most open ended stage in the game, for sure. Like you can uh, hop and just drop, and then go onto a grind rail and just skip a giant chunk of the level. If you know what you're doing, you can skip huge chunks of the level with spin dashes and jumps. It's awesome. Yeah, and just there's so many shortcuts too that they knew you would attempt. It doesn't feel like it was unintentional to do. Like in Sonic Adventure One, where a lot of the Game breaking things seem like they were unintentional, but you could just. And then here they're like, "All right, they're gonna do. It. Let's just." Yeah, it was weird. The only time there's ever a ramp for Sonic to spin dash up, I believe, is in uh, <clears throat> that isn't City Escape. I should say, is the desert level. Weird. That is weird. I did it in the footage. I was like, "Huh, that's weird." But after this, uh, Shadow confronts Sonic. And they have a heart-to-heart -heart about getting to know each other. And then um, Shadow's like, I can't let you live. Well, Sonic and Shadow have their final battle. And so which is, what, Shadow says something amazing. Your adventuring days are coming to an end. end. 
And so Jim, this is my favorite line in the game from him is before this is over, I'll show you the true power of chaos. chaos control. This is easily the best character battle in the game. Easily. The <laughs> Amazing music, a simple concept, but honestly, if you know what you're doing, it's pretty easy. But first so time once, it's this pretty- is where this is where I'm going to clear something up. There's a lot of confusion about the outcome of this battle. Canonically speaking, Sonic wins the fight. Mm-hmm. Sonic wins the fight and drops the fake emerald in the cannon, and that's why the Eclipse cannon is. Eggman didn't know about it. There yeah. you go. And they don't explain at all how Shadow got back inside the arm. Well, because Sonic didn't kill him. Yeah, obviously, but th- like. I feel like this is something, if it had an extra year of development, they could have had more cutscenes. Because to... some people like insist that Shadow wins. If yeah. Shadow won, Sonic would be dead. Yeah, exactly. Because Shadow would have killed him. Whereas if Sonic beat Shadow, Sonic's not going to kill Shadow. So... So, yeah, basically, what's implied is he knocks Shadow out, Sonic slams in the cannon, boom, gets out of there, and then Shadow makes his way back to the arc, but... I, I really wish there was, like, a cutscene showing the outcome of this, you know, because... Like, know. there should have been um something where it's, like, Shadow Sonic's, like, good bat, like good good job, Shadow, or something that goes and destroys the Eclipse can. Something yeah, like that. They did it with Green Forest. <clears throat> they had a cutscene after the battle. Yeah, well, that, that was they fought in a withdrawal. Like, it was dead even match. Yeah, but even so, they still had one after a battle, but this time they didn't really have any yeah. interaction until, and, uh, until the end of the game. Really. And then Eggman and Tails? Tails fucking wipes out Eggman. Yeah, he's on the ground. He's like, pulverizes him! Oh, yosh! And then Knuckles and Rouge, I guess they fought to him. There's no, like... No, I guess Knuckles technically won because Rouge tripped. Yes. But so Knuckles their, technically won. Yeah, but in terms of if she didn't trip, they would be even. It would have been an even match. So. Yeah, but with anyway. Eggman's defeat, um, Tails is thinking, okay, you know, Sonic's dead, sad face, and then you hear Sonic over the radio, and they look out the window, and as they're doing that, you see Eggman go, Yosh! and take the emerald, the real emerald, and... Sonic shows a shit-eating grin while standing on the tip of the cannon, and that shows that's what the cannon ending was. Because a lot so, of people uh, are like, "Wait, that doesn't make sense." But no, know, that it makes like, perfect sense. Sonic destroyed the Eclipse Cannon. <laughs> yeah, like we all know now. I just under, I understand what we were talking about when it comes to the confusion at first. Yeah, but it just wasn't very well explained. I and mean, then I think it's further proven in Sonic Generations where they have the rematch and Sonic wins again. So. Yeah. Yes. But um, now switching over to the dark story. Um, how long has this been going on? This has been going on for an hour already. We're still going. Oh, my. Luckily, we don't talk about the gameplay as much because. They're the... all this, like each story. It's the same templates. Like Tails is Eggman. Rouge is Knuckles. Shadow is Sonic. There you go. Yeah. But um, uh, the balance of stages are a little bit different in this. Though. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about that. So the dark story is actually the beginning of the game. Like the first thing that happens in the game is this level. This is before Sonic's. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> Iron Gate. Eggman's breaking into Gun's military base, looking for. And this is so much better than Tails's first level. Oh my god, yes. And for some reason, if, as you can see now in the footage, not you, but, you know, everyone else, the lighting in this stage got fucked up. Uh, like, you know how when you shoot the robots, the level lights yeah. up so you can see yeah. better? Yeah. In this stage, it's completely lit up. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's very bizarre. So, I mean, it's a lot easier to play through, of course, but... But the thing is, Eggman, this type of gameplay makes sense for Eggman. Yeah. And especially with, like, the upgrades for him. You see it better on him oh, than you would with Tails. He also Tails gets more him. upgrades than Tails does, because clearly the style was made with Eggman in mind, and not Tails. Yeah, it just makes me wish they could have focused more on making more Eggman stages. Like, I think it should have been Sonic, Knuckles, and Eggman. That's who should have been playable. Yeah, but nope. But we'll get to that. Yeah. So, so Iron Gates, basically, 
Eggman's equivalent to Prison Lane. Which is so much better. It's better. Better enemy placement. Honestly, better mute. Well, both music tracks are actually really fucking good. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Um, so Eggman is going there to find the military's top secret weapon. Mm-hmm. The code to open it is Maria. We'll get to that. Cool and thing. out of nowhere, hi, I'm Shadow. Nice to meet you. I'll grant you one wish, but first I'm blow up this robot. Yeah. So, yeah, Shadow. And for some reason, he can use his jet boots. Like he just he's flying in the air, which is never done again. Like Thanks. so, Shadow fights um, Hot Shot, which is a re, which is like a redo of Bigfoot, just with a big gun on it, so it's a little bit harder. Yeah. Ooh. Shadow makes short work of it, like. And this is weird because usually you would think with the dark story you would start out as Shadow, but no. Starting out as Shadow like, is the least game. played character in the game. Only four stages. Four stages, three bosses, and two of them are Sonic. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so then we have the same um Eggman and Shadow are talking, and Shadow's like, bring me more chaos, everyone's on the call in the arc. Okay. And like, how the fuck did Shadow get there? <laughs> well, maybe he knows about the teleporter location. Maybe, maybe just chaos controlled there. He could have done that. Again, this is a game that needed to expand more on its story. So but... then, then we have Dry Lagoon. I'm not going to go over the, story. the exact same cutscene from Knuckles' the story. So, yeah, it's just a livelier version of Wild Canyon. Yeah, with more flora everywhere, and it's split into two sections, just like Wild Canyon, except in this one, you have to get a turtle to go into the water. And yeah, instead of using a wind turbine, you use a turbine. That's the only difference. So whoop de fucking do yeah, <laughs> if you're very unlucky, which I was not unlucky, thank God, the emerald can appear in a spot where you have to ride a second turtle to go I, That's the- only ever happened to me once. Yeah, dude, it sucks. Well, yeah, because you could drown. Like, you could drown before you get the fucking emerald. I know, because you have to time it just right, and grabbing it is a little finicky, and I hate it. I hate it so much, but uh, thankfully, it's usually a smooth ride. You can always just restart the level to get different art, like different placements for the emeralds every time. Yeah, because yeah, the emerald spots are on a randomizer. So. Except for and the then, missions. And then we have Sand Ocean, so we're back to Eggman. We haven't played a shadow yet. Um, yeah. in, a le- in a level. He's had a boss fight. This and is like a really good level. I like this one a lot. The, the like, atmosphere, the music. I think here he's going to um get a, he's trying to get to his base. That's all it is. And Gun has kind of started to infiltrate the outside areas of it, but We outside uh, Yeah And uh <laughs> Oh no. Uh, put footage of that. <laughs> oh god. Send me the gif later. Anyway, um... <laughs> those of you who watch Side Talk, you know what we're talking about. Yeah, so... The level, again, if you have the jet booster, it's a lot better. But even but you don't get the jet booster until, like, stage six, I think? It's Eggman's next stage, basically, yeah. Um, it's, again, good stage. It's got some good props, yada yada. Or set pieces, as they're called. So Eggman nice. gets to the center of Eggman gets to the center of his base and sees a uh, shadow stole a chaos emerald and they're accusing Sonic of doing it even though it doesn't Sonic. Yeah, it's very weird. But then Eggman has like this flashback or Shadow rather has this flashback of this woman named Maria. Like, looks like she's dying and sends Shadow away. Doesn't really explain who she is yet. But all we know is that he has... Shadow <laughs> promised her revenge, apparently, in his flawed logic brain? Yeah, because it does. she says, for all those people, and then after that, it cuts out. You don't see the rest of what she's so, supposed to say. So here you find out... Sh- this is where you first get a glimpse. Shadow's not really a bad guy. No, he's just like at all. He's really not a bad person. No, it's just, he's just he's he's doing something for a friend who he lost, but he got it mixed up because there's something wrong with his brain. Yeah, he doesn't realize what he's doing is fucked up. 
Yeah, he doesn't. He's just making. He's keeping a promise to his only friend. Yeah. So it's and like that in and of itself isn't bad. His actions are not good. Yeah. No. So once it, obviously he'll realize that it's wrong, and then obviously quickly change his tune. We'll but, get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah. But um, Radical Highway is an awesome stage. I love it. So for some reason they brought this level back in Generation Three DS. Which would have been cooler. In- it would be weird. It's weird because this is a Shadow level, not a Sonic level. <laughs> yeah, I know. So what the hell? I mean, unless you pop in your action replay, <laughs> and then you can make it Sonic. I mean, there. I would have brought back Metal Harbor for the 3DS version myself. Oh, yeah. But, you get the Ancient Light, by the way, in Sand Ocean. I forgot to mention that. Mystic Melody! Whatever. Get so your we- terms right! Tomato, tomato, I don't <laughs> care. So, uh, in this stage, uh, <laughs> oh, fuck, Radical Highway, you could get a, the flame ring, but early, by just doing a spin dash over instead of doing Yeah, that, that's the only way, that's the old, that's the way I do it every time. Yeah, I didn't know you could do that until I tried it myself, just out of curiosity. It's not hard to do. It's really not hard to do. No. <laughs> no, it's easy. Uh, and uh, pretty good stage. It's nothing crazy. It's basically a a more darker, edgy version. It's a, of Speed the Highway. darker version of City uh, Cities. I'd say Speed Highway. Honestly, think about it. If you think about it, running through the at night on city rooftops, basically. Yeah. So then, um, after that, um, you see a thing of knights too in that. Oh movie. yeah, knights is in this stage, isn't he? Yeah. Rip. But, um, so we have the same cutscene from when he first met Sonic, so I'm not going to go over that again. But after that, we're back to Rouge in, I think the level's called Egg, yeah, it's called Egg Quarters. This level sucks, too. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not awful. Stop. But it's not good. Stop. No, you. Oh, uh, he's just, uh I hate what he does in the middle of the fucking video. I know. He just wants to be a part of everything. Yeah. I for those of you who don't know, I have a I have a three month old puppy, and he wants me to play with it. But, but it is time to do videos. Yeah, he doesn't understand that he's a puppy, and he's really cute, and I think he's in the background of one of my videos. <laughs> but, you need to send me a picture of that doggo. You've seen him. No, so I can show him context for the video. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. All right, I'll send it. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. So, uh, where were we? Um, egg quarters. They're like these weird, like, beetle spy robot things. Screw yeah. them. They can fuck you up if you don't get into the shadows. And ha! Also- There's a character called Shadow in this game. He's in the shadows. Ha! Shadow. Oh, my God. I hate my life. Me. I hate my life. Uh, and this level, you also find the, basically, Knuckles' version of the Shuffle Claw. So I think it's yay. called the drill nail or something. I don't know. Pick nail, I think. I something. Know. But yeah, this. Ha! But anyway, this level sucks. Um, yeah, yeah, it's not good. It's if you know, it's not hard. It's just not good. It's a lot easier than Death Chamber. Yes. But then we go back to um, Eggman in Lost Colony, which is um, a dark version of Eternal Engine, and yeah, a lot better. Weird. And what's weird is the lighting in this one. Isn't fucked up. Interesting. Yeah, I mean it's a little brighter, but that's probably just my settings. But still, um, well, I I don't know. They didn't fuck it up. And this is where we get the jet booster, and this is when Eggman becomes so much more fun to play as. Yeah, he only has two more stages after this. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, because yeah. uh, it's it's very front loaded with Eggman. Then it just stops after level seven. Like you don't play as Eggman again until the second to last stage after. <laughs> yeah, which sucks because you get the coolest power up in the game, Stop! and you're just like, "Oh my god, I want to use it so much!" But when they let you use it, it is so satisfying. Yeah. So we basically so after he uh, Eggman finishes the stage, you know, he appears <coughs> in, in the room with all the emeralds where Shadow is, and he's starting to tell them about uh, the Eclipse Cannon. Yeah, the Eclipse Cannon. Yay, Eclipse Cannon. My favorite. And then for some reason, Rouge is there. Like, how'd she get there? 
How the hell did she get there? Oh, wait. No, she teleported there from um, Eggman. Never mind. Yeah, right after eight quarters, she uh, teleports there. Yeah, I forgot about that until just now. Uh, brain fart. Uh. <laughs> Good job. So after that, uh, there, she's like, you know, I'll make a deal. I'll work with you. And for some reason, she already has an emerald. Don't ask questions. But I want the answers to them. We're not getting them. So then we have weapons bed after they go to the uh, the island. And they're like, yeah. hey, we're going to blow this place up. You go get the Chaos Emeralds. You set the bombs. I'm a cause of distraction. <laughs> and then it's like, okay. And Shadow's and just like, it. cool. Shadow's Sh- yeah. not even making any... Shadow has this, in the HD version, you can see it better. He, he has this yeah. default yeah. smile on all the time, so he, he just, just he's <laughs> derped the he entire just... time. He looks like Sweet Coco. Just so derpy. <laughs> I know. Like he's like when Eggman's talk about the serious stuff, he just you can see his face. He's just like, mm-hmm. yeah. Especially when he's walking through the jungle, it's like, <laughs> oh my, it's like, oh my god. Sorry, go ahead. Anyway, so then we have Weapons Bed, which is a pretty chaotic stage, in all honesty. Yeah, Weapons Bed is a very cathartic level. Oh yeah. And you just want to blow everything up, by yeah. all means, bro. <laughs> Do about 10 or 15, and you'll get it perfect every time. You're going to get and an A rank easily. Yeah, it just... This is one of his best stages, I think. Easily. Yeah, actually, remember we said he wasn't... He didn't have the second to last level? We forgot about this level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, this is where you get the Vulcan cannon, where you have that, you know... Uh, Freaking gun magazine on the top of your gun. It's so cool. Yeah. And, and I didn't get any. There's a second power up you can get to make his like uh, laser cannon bigger. And it's like, whoa. My, ah, my cat put his paw on my keyboard. Oh, what's up, kitty? Yeah, so you got cats interfering. I got my dog. Great. I know. The cat it just. <sighs> Animals, everybody. They're the best. Aren't they they? Are. they They really are, though. Yeah, they, 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 they is. So after Weapons Bed, um, they're going over their planet. And Amy, she's like, Sonic, oh my god, it's you! She's so stupid. Mm. And then Shadow's just like, you're gonna die. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, he looks like, he. at first he's like, what the fuck you looking at? And but then, he's, then, then like, he looks, then he looks like, what? What? And then he's like, yeah, you're gonna die in a night. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't even say anything. He just looks confused. Yeah. And Rouge is just like, what? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, so then Tails shows up and an Eggman fight Tails. And then um then you have Security Hall. Yeah. Oh my I god. Hate I, hate stage. I hate the stage. I hate the stage so much. <laughs> oh my god. I'll give it a I'll give it this. The aesthetic is the I think it's the only level it uses aesthetic in the game. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, and the stage itself isn't big either. No, it's just the time limit, man. Yeah, if you got rid of the time limit, the stage is fine. Because the part that makes it terrible is, is one, it? RNG, and two, the switches you have to go all the way up to the top for to go switch every time there might be an top. emerald nearby. Eggman gives you 15 minutes, yeah. and Rouge is like, oh, I can do this in five minutes. So you're making it harder on the player by being a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like... I get that they expect people to usually get done with these kind of stages within five minutes or so, but what if it's, especially if it's your first time as a kid, you're going to fail at this stage so much. Again, yeah. this game like put me off so many times because I get stuck on certain stages and I just would say, fuck it for a while. Yeah, no, but, I feel that. But now it's not that big a deal, like now that I know it's bullshit. Yeah, so after Rouge beats this stage, which uh, you have to get Chaos Emerald in this yeah, it's it's very weird. Um, she fights a a gun flying mech. version of the uh, the hot shot and the bigfoot. I think it's called hot dog. Hot dog, yeah. And uh, it's a little bit harder because the legs have to. But really, it's not that bad. Climb on the wall, glide into it, then jump on the wall, glide into it. I mean, so it's, it makes it a little bit harder, but it's nothing you can't manage. Yeah, no, it's it's not terrible at all, really. So um. 
somehow that makes it so that Rouge is now stuck in a vault. So did she beat the boss, or is she stuck stuck in that room? She beat it and took too much damage, or she's just being lazy. I I, re- I don't think she took damage, but she's just like I don't get it. She looks like she's in the exact same room. I it's stupid. I hate this game. So Shadow, so, so Shadow's like he has a flashback yeah. of Maria, and he's like, "All right, I guess I'm gonna go save you." It's been five stages since we played as Shadow. <laughs> And I love this stage, too. You know, White Jungle is awesome. Yes, great music. Great aesthetic, honestly. I don't know if i say it's better than Green Forest aesthetic, but... It, uh, it, it's very, they're very close. Yeah. Uh, his stage is very well designed, honestly. I don't really have any issues with it. This is fair. where you get uh, Shadow's Light Speed. So. Yeah, it's... Uh, you can't progress unless you get it. It's like, oh, I want to use this. This is actually Shadow's only mandatory... Mm-hmm. Yeah, and his shoes just look a little bit more ridiculous. I don't think they look that much different. Maybe they do, but eh, I don't know. Oh yeah, we didn't talk a, about oh, this one. level has a time limit too, because uh, Green Force had a time limit. This one, this one's a little longer. This one's like ten minutes, I think. Yeah, because Shadow gets here before Sonic. Yeah, so, so you have a bit more time, but even yeah. then. Yeah, so uh, you get you beat the level, and then you... You, fight, you do the same boss fight from before, except now you're fighting Sonic as a cat. So. And it's the exact same cutscene, different camera uh, angles. There's a slightly a different bit. camera angle at the beginning. Yeah, um, and a different outcome cutscene at the end, which this is weird. They have their own separate area cutscene for Shadow's version. But in Sonic's... It's... Because Sonic was an in-game cutscene. Shadows is a cinematic. Yeah. So yeah Sonic they... led into Green Forest. Yeah, but why Shadows they... was an actual cutscene. Why did they just use the same area? The same cutscene? Because that would make sense. Because when they put them in there, they put Sonic farther in the stage, they took a U-turn. Yeah, I know, it's so stupid. <laughs> Yeah, he takes the U-turn and then boom, he's at the start of the stage. Like he went, he he went back about three minutes, maybe. Like, but yeah, he goes and saves Rouge because Rouge has three Chaos Emeralds. Chaos controls the fuck out of there. How did Eggman get off the island? Or... He probably got off there a while before any of that. Yeah. Like, so then yeah. we see another flashback of Shadow talking to Marie. Yeah, this You're is talking right about out. the Earth. Mm-hmm. And how he'd like what? to visit there someday, blah blah blah. He's like, "What is my purpose?" And it's like, I don't know. Yeah, you don't find that out until Shadow of the Hedgehog, and it's stupid. <laughs> <sighs> I don't count it, even though it's canon. <laughs> I wish, I wish we could do that, Alex. I know. So Shadow and Rouge have a little bit of a talk. They talk for a little bit, and he's like, "The only reason I saved you is because of the Emerald. Don't, don't get, your, don't get it twisted." <laughs> it's like, yeah, right. But, um, they fire the Eclipse Cannon, and, um, nobody gives a shit. There's, like, whatever. <laughs> well, they're all freaking out, because Eggman's pissed off that nobody's listening to him. Because that's, he, he used it as a threat, like, listen to me, or I'm gonna do this to you. But they're more uh, scared about the cannon than Eggman. <laughs> but as they're more upset tell, about the moon than anything. But if, you, if you're watching the cutscene now, it's ruined for you, because Eggman's come to make an announcement. I'm going to make an announcement. Oh my god. Shut up. <laughs> right. I hate you. He I, I don't dick out and no. he pissed on my So then we have another driving level. Yay. And this one's with Rouge. And it's even worse. Yeah. Um, this and you're driving a dick mobile. <laughs> well, before that, this is like the cutscene you have to like say to Eggman, what's the password for this and that? And wait, what was the plan? I forget. They well, they were chasing tails because they were trying to find Sonic. Oh see yeah, what Sonic was up to. So uh, Rouge takes a space high takes a space highway from the Colony Arc down to Earth. That's that's how she got there with the car. Uh, and does that make sense to you? I mean, obviously. Yeah, like she chases tails, and then um, Shadow takes over and chases tails. Yeah, there's and then again the same stage for Rouge. Well, not really the same stage, same aesthetic, but harder. Get I, down. I, no, <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's 
the same stage really, but it's just harder. I, 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 it exists. Yeah. Then we have Sky Rail, which is where Shadow takes over to chase yeah. tails. This level's awesome. Yeah, I didn't get the ancient light in this one, but it's a little out of the way to get. I think it's the shortest level in the game, though. Yeah, it doesn't take long. For but it's uh, fun. For... It's a yeah. fun stage. <laughs> Again, music is great, but oh yeah, uh, it has some it uses some fun use of the grinding. Like even though it's over like a pit of death, which is something I have an issue with Sonic Heroes. Uh, it's actually kind of fun and well designed in terms of where all the rails are placed. Yeah, no, it's um, it's a really good stage. I like this one a lot. Um, there's nothing crazy about it that sticks out there, <coughs> so I usually kind of forget that exists. And then you get to it, and you're like, "Oh, this is a fun level." It's like, "Oh yeah, this level." Like literally, that's that level. It's Pumpkin Hill, but not better than Pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then we're treated to um. Sonic fighting the egg globe again, but this time it shows the aftermath. Well, so, don't forget, Teria. Yeah, so Sonic defeats the egg golem, and he goes like, Teria! And the egg golem attacks Eggman. Yeah. And... So we have the egg golem fight, and it's a little bit different, because you have to shoot it. And it's, I mean, other than me fucking up ah! here, it's one of the easiest fights, honestly. Oh, for sure. It's not difficult. No. At all. So, uh, Alex, my dog's causing a ruckus. Hold it down for a minute. All right, so we're going to be continuing on from the Egg Golem. Okay. So, the Egg Golem. Uh, yeah, again, Eggman, he just basically takes it down pretty easily by shooting it up, hitting all the lights. Yay, whoop de doo Yeah, exactly. It's not then, something right home about. And then we have to go to... No, we didn't go to... We don't... What stage is next? Mad Space. Oh, God. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, because Rivers is like, we got six chaos emeralds. I'm gonna take them, and Shadow's like, no, the fuck you're not. I know who you are. Well, he doesn't find that out till um his what that Shadow doesn't have that conversation with her till uh, right before. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, here Shat Rouge is reporting the gun, and then goes to get the last piece of the Master Emerald. Yeah, that's. The cutscene I was trying to think of, yeah. But, oh yeah, she, oh, that's right, because she's in there trying to get details on Shadow, Project Shadow. Yep, yep. And then the original Adventure 2, it shows the radar, like a emerald uh, piece uh, picture on the screen, but for some reason in this, they showed the Sonic Tales and uh, Amy on the feed. It doesn't make sense. Anyway, yeah, we go to the worst level in the game, Mad Space. Oh Jesus my Christ. Fucking god, this level. This level is the worst level in the game. Hands down. It's one of the worst levels in Sonic history. Oh, of Honestly. course. Yes. Worst treasure hunting stage, worst Sonic stage in Sonic Adventure 2. Um, not worst level of all time, but Jesus, it's so annoying to get up, go up and down the stage. Because going down to the bottom, you don't really have anything. It's a giant pit. And the detector readings are reversed. Yeah, and you have if you have to pause it and read it backwards, it's stupid, and oh, the gravity is so awkward in this level. We didn't mention that you lose points <coughs> if you use the monitors, which I accidentally did a few times. Oh, I don't care. I know, but if you're going for A ranks, it's like fuck. Yeah, well, in this level, you might as well just say screw it. <laughs> well, I did it multiple times. It's not a good state. This level is. Not good at all. I, I there's no redeeming factors. I mean, it's, it has a nice use of anti gravity. Like uh, Mario Galaxy, this ain't. It would take six years until it was perfected, I guess. But yeah, it, it was ahead of its time with that idea, I guess. But yeah, and then we have it, the wonky. I don't like it. Yeah, no, this level is not control. And then we have the battle with Knuckles, which is the same both in terms of gameplay and story. So I'm not. Yeah, no, it's literally the same cutscene, except uh, when you uh, fight Knuckles, he has the most dull fucking line in the game. Hand me those. And Orioles, Master Emeralds. Give, Give them, them to me. me. It's like, what yeah. the fuck? The problem with this um, game, in terms of the script, is it's not like, um, you know how in Dragon Ball Kai, they translate the dub 
to make it more um, English. Yeah. This is word for word the same as the Japanese version. That's why there's some lines that don't make any sense. Yeah, or they are literal mistranslations. Oh, yeah, well, there's one in the final story. But... <coughs> mm-hmm. So what's the next level? Uh, we Cosmic have... Wall. Yes, one of the best levels in the game as well. Yeah, so Eggman figures out that Sonic and Tails have a fake air bolt. He's like, I'm gonna go confront them. Shadow, hold down the line in case I get defeated. Mm-hmm. And, and make uh, just, just that. And this is the level that takes the gravity that you perfectly. Yeah, it takes it lowers the gravity so you ascend when you use the booster, which is nice. It just gives you more control. It's the closest thing you're ever going to get to playing as Gamma again. <laughs> yeah, no, this level's this is the best thing. This is the best mech stage in bar none. Yeah, it's so much fun. I, I, like every time I play, I'm like, yeah. You know, this is a great stage. This stage is a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's it, there's nothing great. Like there's nothing, no special set pieces about it until you get the art. Well, to actually get the new armor piece here, <laughs> which is nice. And the uh, drill section at the end is pretty. Yeah, when I got to the section where you go on that thing, like to go, or maybe it was one of those. Uh, automated sections. I got speed shoes, and I went on it, and I couldn't move. I oh, like, shit. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, so what was the point of that? <laughs> yeah, it's like, but why, though? It's like, reasons, man. Reasons. And, go, so, good level. Uh, then we had the Tails and uh, Eggman boss again. The cutscene is basically the same. Um, You see a little bit more of Amy getting cornered by Eggman, but other than that, it's nothing different. Nope. Uh, you don't see Sonic trying to use Chaos Control in this version? No. No, you don't. Mm -mm. So, um, Shadow sees the capsule explode as the soon Sonic died. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then he finds Rude for the Chaos and is like, hey, you're gonna leave those there or I'm gonna kill you. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, she confronts him about not really being Project Shadow. Because mm -hmm. um, she they imply that his memories aren't real, and that something else is Project Shadow. But it's still me, Shadow. We'll circle back to that because that something else does show up. <coughs> you see a picture of it too, Ryan. Yeah, no. So there is definitely four Shadow. It's not come out of it. Um, four, four shadowing. Ah! So then we have Final Chase. Which I don't think is as good as Final Rush. It's an alright stage. Not great. Not great. It's definitely Shadow's worst stage. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, I it's, mean, like, those, those, like, weird gravity things you can mm -hmm. Like, you know those, like, platforms that are, like, spinning in the middle of space you gotta run on? Those are awesome. Yeah, they're, they're, they're quite awkward. I'm not a big fan of them, to be honest. And then yeah, first, no. At the end of the stage, you have to go down a really long one, and then... Yeah. And the camera's really bad for that. Camera in this game is bad in a lot of places, dude. Yeah, so after that, you have the same cutscene, but shorter, where you confront Sonic. Same exact boss fight. Mm -hmm. And you don't actually see the outcome of this fight, because you just see Eggman taking the last emerald and putting in the Eclipse Cannon. But because Sonic already blew up the Eclipse Cannon... <laughs> Danger! Uh -huh. Dog barked, that's why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, danger or warning pops up, depending on which version, Dreamcast or HD, GameCube port. Uh, yeah, Eggman gets out with the Emerald, and since the cannon's destroyed, um, and he uses the Emerald, I don't know, I guess this was the original intention of what we're going to see. Yeah, so after you beat both of those stories, you do unlock the final story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, and it's uh, it's short, cutscene heavy. Um, it's like you find out that um, Eggman's grandfather, Doctor Joe Robotnik, um, created Shadow, mm -hmm. and um, government found out about his plans, killed Maria, who is his granddaughter and his cousin and Shadow's friend. 
Yeah, she had some kind of disease though too. So and that's why he was trying to make Shadow to figure out a way to use a buck to make a being that could take the vaccine and heal her. I think that's what he was doing. He wanted to make a vaccine out of Shadow to cure Maria. Oh, that's interesting. They wish they would elaborate that a bit more. But Shadow is nowhere to be seen in any of this. Story. So um, Shadow is nowhere to be seen in any of this. Story. Um, so they're all the characters are watching for Shadow, and fucking Joe Robotnik goes nuts, programs the Ark to crash into Earth. If all the seven Chaos Emeralds are collected and put in there, so Shadow's false memories were told that it could just it just fires the cannon at max. Oh power. no 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 no! This thing is gonna crash into Earth and shatter it to pieces. Yeah, I know, but like Shadow's memories were saying that um, J- the cannon is strong enough to destroy the planet with firing at it, but and it pro- he, to be fair, it probably is. <laughs> yeah, but maybe he would be he misremembered it. it he probably can, to be fair, he probably did. Yeah, because either way, you, it will destroy the planet. <laughs> but so, um, Joe Robot is uh, executed. By firing squad. Yes, this is a kid's game. And, um, the only way to stop it is to get Sonic and Knuckles into the cannon's core, use the Master Emerald to stop the Chaos Emeralds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody has to work together to get in there. Fuck this level! Yeah. It's all separated into... Every which character, is, which is except. funny though, because the uh, the icon for the level is blue, implying this is a Sonic stage. Yeah, you play. And if game. you go pick the level on the level select, it's considered a Sonic stage. Mm-hmm. But you play as everybody except Shadow will get there. Yeah. So first, you start out as Tails, and you have to mess with uh, freezing time. I oh, that that shit's so annoying. Yeah, I don't understand how the time... I think it's supposed to be based on chaos control. Yeah, but it's so bizarre. Like, how much does it stop? Does it stop the area? Does it stop everything? Don't question it. Okay. Everything in this virtual zone. But, yeah. uh, You work with that. You know, you get to the end of the area with Tails. You have to break a door. door, And then, boom, you're playing as Eggman. There is a major glitch here. Where you can keep falling through the floor at the beginning that, of this section. That's in the original GameCube Black Label release. That would happen. They fixed it in the Greatest Hits version. And I never had that. I never had that issue. I feel like I had that happen once, but I don't really remember. It's a little fuzzy, so I don't remember if it really did or if I'm just imagining it. But, yeah, this part of the stage uh, <laughs> kind of annoying because you have all these blocks it's- that are it's actually the longest segment of the stage is the only part with the checkpoint. Yeah. And uh, just the most annoying part is the blocks on the mm-hmm. green goop, whatever you want to call that area. You have to freeze time, jump on a block, or preemptively wait for a block that's going off to get to the next door. But then it's the same you know, thing in terms of room design for getting up to the door, blowing it up, moving on to the next section. Yeah. Then we play as Rouge. Uh, Rouge section isn't that bad. It's actually really short. All you have to do is climb to the top of the area, hit a switch, uh, which is I think is a time switch. There's a time switch because you have to stop the waterfall so you can go through it. And you go through, and you go through it, and then you have to stop the switch, another switch again to stop the blocks from coming out so you can get in. You get in there, hit the button, then for some reason you have to go out there and hit the button, which is annoying. So, yeah, you make your way out, still using the time stuff, which can be annoying depending on how the blocks are lined up. And then you get out there, push the button, it starts to flood the area with all this weird liquid, I hope it's water. And then you're playing as Knuckles. This is the part of this level that made me rage quit. Yeah, see, before we even talk about this, this is where you need to go back and go to Aquatic Mine and get the fucking air necklace. Now, it's a little bit <coughs> weird, but all you have to do is uh, take the water switch down to three, which is uh, at the very top of the level, then go down, find the ghost icon in terms of the little, like, 
chutes that you can like go down go down there and just keep going keep going and, and, and in the footage here i literally no i did i almost drown here no i don't know where it was but i almost drowned it was scary so yeah you get that and then yeah then you want to start doing the stage then it's completely uh, this it sucks yeah it's a joke after you get the air necklace but without it it's really fucking hard The timing for the 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 little time stoppers can be annoying with the jets of the water. Yeah, they can. But that yeah. last section, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I hated it. I, I hate it still, even with the air necklace. So, yay, worst part of the stage over with. But then we finally get to, uh, well, saying the best part of the stage is very uh, loose. Yeah, so we get the Sonics okay. part, Sonic which is the last part of the stage. It's also the shortest, even though it's Sonic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it is, it's, I mean, it's fun. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, you have to take out, like, you know, some robots, go through some, you know, weird... I don't know. I can't really describe it. It's You're seeing footage of it because it's just so weird looking. You go, but it's, right, um... if you go right, then you have to go left, and you... Then the water's <laughs> rushing, yeah, freeze the water, hit a There's button. A six? There's a section that's just like Lost World from Talking About One. Yeah, once you get there, you have to jump over, and then you just go down, down, down. And then, boom, level's over. Yeah, finally! Yeah, finally. Like, if first time through, you don't know what you're doing, oh my god. All so right. it can take, yep, like, 12 yep. minutes. It's the hardest level in the game, by far. Oh my god, yeah, it is. So then we have what I believe you were telling me one time originally was supposed to be Sonic versus this thing called the Bio Lizard, which is the original Shadow prototype. And uh, this boss is the hardest, I guess, wouldn't you say? Oh, did you turn your mic off? Anyway. Did you completely skip over the story part before you talked about the bio lizard? Uh, I think so, but why did you cut out? <laughs> uh, dog was doing dog things. Alright, so go ahead and explain the story part of this. So after me... Cannon's core, mm -hmm. Shadow is brooding. Oh, goes. yeah. And um, Amy goes and talks to him and is like, hey, listen, like, you gotta help, like, basically, like, you gotta help them. Like, you're one of the only people who can stop this. And he finally fully remembers what Maria said, which is she doesn't want revenge. He wants to give the human. She wanted to help. She wanted to help the humans. Give them a chance to be happy. He's like, all right, I know what to do. And he goes through the entirety of Cannon's core in, like, five seconds. And, and there he is. Or he used chaos control. Sonic and Knuckles get to the core, which is modeled after the shrine of Asian Island. How we knew about this, never explained. He went to Angel Island, that's why Shadow looks like rolling Angel. What? Like, Joe Robotnik went to Angel Island. That's why Shadow looks the way he does. He's based on the music of Super Sonic. He's based on... Oh, okay. So, um, as they're getting there, it's like, Oh, you ungrateful humans who took everything away from me! And then the Bio-Lizard just shows up and jumps you! Yeah, the bio the lizard was um, Joe Robotnik's last line of defense. If his plans were screwing up, here's a giant monster. Good luck. Because basically, it's supposed to be an extension of Gerald, because Gerald's dead. You can't have a boss fight with him. But something he created that's programmed by him. And the Amazing. thing is, this thing is Shadow's prototype. Only one person really should confront it. Yeah, Shadow. I mean, originally, you said it was supposed to be Sonic, but... It was supposed to be Knuckles. Oh. Ooh. So Shadow comes in and is like, I got this. You guys gotta stop the chaos, everyone. Mm -hmm. Hardest boss in the fucking game. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I think I died once at this boss during this run. The first so time I got to this thing. Jesus Christ. It took me a couple dozen tries. He kicked my ass! But I persevered, man. I 
needed to defeat this thing. <laughs> I was yeah. not going to let this stupid lizard beat me. Yeah, you know how, like, he chases, like, his head chases you? Yeah. Somehow I made it so his head was going the other way of me, so I was chasing his head. <laughs> how the fuck? I don't know. It just happened. First things first. Supporting me? You know how he shoots those attacks, too? First things first. Supporting me? Fantastic boss track. Fantastic boss. Yeah. But you know how he shoots those energy uh, dark balls? Yeah. Like, when I was behind his head and he fired them, uh, they just fired a head. They don't target you. They're on a trajectory. (laughs) They are. But there are some you have to jump over, some you have to somersault. Um, Yeah, one of the few times you have to use the somersault. But, man, this guy will kick your teeth in the first few times you fight him. Holy crap. Yeah, then when you get to the second half, you have uh, these little egg things that spawn up, and you have to homing attack up them. And you gotta do it quickly, because if you're, like, trying to be very careful with how you get up there, which I can understand, the other eggs will come and hit you, knock you down, and you'll probably die. Yeah. Uh, And the final part of it is... When you're floating. Yeah, that... Oh, my. God. You know, believe it or not, I did that my first try. Yeah, I yeah, I, I was able to pull it off here, but but the first time I ever got to this point of the fight, I did that. My first time. Yeah, when you hit that and you finish him off, oh my god, I felt oh, it's so, so that's fine. great. You know, it's funny though when I beat him, my brother was watching him play. And he's like, "Oh, Frankie, you just beat the game." I looked at him and I was like, "I don't think that's the final boss." No, because. Sonic Cause, and Knuckles. Are well, because my, my whole thing was, like, I'm playing a Sonic game. Why am I ending the game as Shadow? Right. Like, that's where my head was. I was like, that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, so, so Shadow defeats the Bio-Lizard. It just Chaos Controls out of there. And you're like, that thing can do Chaos Control, too? What the fuck? Um, yeah, mistranslation. So, is, is that what Chaos Control is? So Knuckles does stop the Chaos Emeralds. But um, the colony is still moving because... The bio lizard combined with the space colony, aka the colony. So he shoved the space ass. colony up his ass, but that yeah, made him it made him a lot more powerful, a lot more powerful. So, so power. Sonic looks at Shadow is like, "Hey, um, I know how to do this. Do you know how to do this?" Shadow's like, "What? No, <laughs> but okay." So they transform into Super Sonic and Super. Sonic. Mm-hmm. Um. Now, before we talk about the boss fight, there is a subplot going on here. And they imply heavily that Super Sonic is a lot more powerful than Super Yeah. Like, did I cut out there? I felt like I cut out. A little bit. Yeah, so they imply that Sonic, in this fight, or at least in a super form, is a lot stronger than Super Shadow. <laughs> yeah. Because Sonic... Knows how to use this form. Shadow like, doesn't. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and Shadow's like losing power, whereas Sonic is able to maintain it. Yeah, but this boss is so <laughs> fucking cool, though. It's uh, it, the gameplay's kind of eh, but the atmosphere is what makes it because, it's oh my god, crazy. this feels like the end of the world. Like this feels like the entire world's coming to an end. Yeah, especially as a kid, it felt really grand. And Oh, then you got Live and Learn playing in the background. Yeah, that song that's been, like, playing throughout the whole menu screen and all that, that you only hear a little bit of each time. You finally get the full song, and you're like, oh, shit. But, yeah, what you gotta do is, um, you gotta fly towards this thing. And, um, he's got these boils that come out of his body. And you gotta smack it. And once you hit him with Sonic, it'll switch over to Shadow and vice versa. Yeah, if you do each one correctly, it will end with it being Shadow doing the final blow, which makes sense. Because he yeah. does say, I'm going to, you know, destroy all the evil the Professor has created. Canonically, they defeat him at the same time. Yeah. But for gameplay purposes, you can beat, you can beat him with either one of them. Because... If you're too low on rings with Shadow, for example, and you fly to the other side, it'll switch over to Sonic. Control. Like, a super-powered Chaos game. The Ark. Oh, by the way, before they do this, the Bio-Lizard dead. Like, it, it just, it got destroyed. Before the Ark. Like, they destroyed the Bio-Lizard before they did the Chaos game. Just, just to clarify. Mm-hmm. 
Like that thing, Sonic and Shadow annihilated it. It's, it's dead as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like Chaos survived. The Bio Lizard's dead. Okay. Just so everybody knows, Bio Lizard's dead. Okay. I think so. it's one of the only beings that Sonic actually ever killed. Yeah, so basically what they do is if they do Chaos Control, they move the uh, base colony arc. Uh, and this is where um, and Shadow, the, the subplot I was talking about comes into play. Sonic survives this. No problem. Shadow runs out of energy and burns in the atmosphere and dies. Yeah, well. He was Allegedly. Supposed, he was supposed to die. We'll uh, we'll circle back to that when we talk about Sonic. But then we have what is possibly the best ending of any Sonic game. Yeah, kind of sad. And, and it honestly felt like this could have been the last game in the series. From what I hear, it was supposed to be. Well, because like Eggman's not bad anymore. They defeated the most powerful being they had fought so far. And it looked like everyone was going to make amends. But, you know, after this, it was a roller coaster of chaos. <laughs> ha! Oh, but uh, it's sad. And the last line in the game is Sonic saying, Sayonara, Shadow the Hedgehog, which, is the la which were Maria's last words. Yeah, for some reason, Japanese says adios. I don't know why. I think, yeah. but I think I think the English version did it better. Yeah, and Ryan Drummond does a really good job as Sonic in this scene. Yeah, but he's not acting overly cheesy for once. Oh my god! What? Wow! I'll tell you in a minute. Um, so Sonic Adventure Two. And is, is uh, in some ways a better game than, than the first one. Yeah. But in a lot of ways, I still prefer Sonic Adventure. Um, I like Sonic's levels better in Sonic Adventure 1. I just do. Yeah, basically, uh, Sonic Adventure 1's levels are just better for Sonic, in my opinion. Knuckles! And Rouge are just not as fun as Knuckles was in SA1. Mm -hmm. Eggman and Tails, not as good as Gamma. And they 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 wanted to give everybody equal playtime. Okay, fine. But when I'm playing a Sonic game, I want to spend most of my time playing as Sonic. Technically, that is true because he has one more stage than everybody else. But that's only six out of 30 levels. I'm not counting Cannon's core. Yeah. I mean, then you do have four shadow stages, which yes, gives you what? How many stages? That's ten. Said? That's ten. There's ten running stages, nine treasure hunting, nine mech stages. And there's two racing levels. So, technically, you do play as the runner characters the most. Barely. It is barely, but the way they split it up was the problem, in my opinion. Because like, let's, like, let's take Dark Side Story. Stage 4 is Shadow. Then you don't play as him again to level 9? Yeah, there's, <laughs> there wasn't a lot of focus on him. Which is or like, cool. with the hero story. You go, you play as Sonic, stages one, four, five. Then they'll play as him again to eleven. Big gap. Yeah, and that's when I'm playing a Sonic game. I want to play as Sonic. Yeah, the entire time I'm playing as a kid, I want. I'm sitting there saying, "When am I gonna play as Sonic? I want to play as Sonic next day." That's like playing. Play that's like playing a Mario game, and you spend most of your Peach and Toad instead of Mario. Yeah, or just some other side character you don't give a shit about. That's fucking... It's obnoxious. And, um... Like, the, I don't mind the characters themselves. The other two. I love Tails. I love Knuckles. I love Eggman. I love Shadow. I'm indifferent toward Root. But... Like, 
I don't know. Rouge has just never appealed to me. Yeah, she's just whatever. Like, I think Shadow's cool. I love Tails. I love Knuckles. Eggman's fun. Sonic's one of my favorite video game characters of all time. But yeah. uh, he's the guy I want to play as. It's his series. Yeah, the other character should be in addition rather than part of the main thing, I'd say. And Adventure 1 did it better. Yeah, they had every character have their own story. So if you wanted to just play exclusively as Sonic for the whole thing, you could just play as Sonic. And again, Sonic's, state, Sonic's story is double the length of everybody else's. Like, imagine playing Sonic Adventure 1. And it's like, you play as Sonic the first stage, then you gotta play as Tails, then you play as Big, then you play as Gamma. <laughs> oh, God! Then you, play, then you play as Amy. It's like, oh, oh my God. Oh, now we're Knuckles. Oh, now we're finally Sonic. Like, and now we're Gamma again, and now we're big, and then we're big again, and then we're Sonic. It's like, oh god. Could you imagine how worse so, Sonic Adventure 1 would be? Like, if this game was structured the way it originally should have been, it was Sonic, Knuckles, and Eggman. I think it would have been better. Yeah. It would have been. Hindsight's a bitch. <laughs> like, it's just, like, I want all this, though. But then you don't realize what you a better product. Like part of like the people wanted tail, so okay, we'll throw them in the last second, and we'll add Rouge and Shadow just because. Yeah. Like Shadow and Rouge were only supposed to be part of the story. They weren't supposed to be playable. <laughs> but well, fortunately for some people, people like Shadow a lot, so that I mean Shadow's cool. Them. Yeah. But, you know. So, uh, I would talk about the Child Garden, but other than the fact that it's just a lot better of a version than the Adventure 1, like even DX, you can actually see all the stats, you can give animals. In the AC version, you can't transfer Chows over to anything, there's just a departure machine. But Alex, here's, here's the thing, man. You can also take Eggman in there and run in a circle, and he's so fast, it's like ridiculous. And you can also pick up Chow with him. And shake the shit out of them. We have been talking about Sonic Adventure 2 for two fucking hours. That's okay. I don't want to do this anymore. That's okay. <laughs> so anyway, I believe that... I, and the last thing is, you got races. Like, what do you need to do? I don't yeah. Know. Oh, there's multiplayer. Probably the best multiplayer in a Sonic game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. And if you get that. all the emblems, you unlock a Green Hill Zone for Sonic to run through. Which is kind of cool, which was cool at the time. Now we see Green Hill, Green Hill all the time, but like, go away. But Yeah, but at the time, definitely really cool. Uh, it's literally the first act, but made in 3D. It's and it's pretty cool. cool. It's pretty cool to see. Honestly, it's probably one of the Sonic's best structured stages. <laughs> yeah, it's one of the best unlockables in a like, yeah. after this, we got super hard mode. That was your nice. unlockable. Like, Yay. Just, like, I want to play through the game again. <laughs> so, anger. next time, I don't know if this is, or if the Spider-Man video is going up first. Well, considering how long this may take to edit, Spider-Man might go up first. <laughs> so, as we, um, so, well, Spider-Man will probably be up first. That'll be a lot, because I can edit that in, like, five. So, yeah. after... This we will be talking about the Super Smash Bros. series. Yay! So if you made it through this video, thank you, because this is the <laughs> longest video we've done by far. Yeah, and, and it's one thirty in the morning. I am very tired. And this, and I have to edit gameplay footage in that I played through in one day. I have you know, if we didn't do that, we would have had this done in four. What? If you didn't do that, we would be able to do this in four years. Well, yeah, but we're not about that anymore. Yeah. Anyway, I want to so thank you guys so much for sticking around. And um, we will see you next time, which should be Super Smash Brothers, unless this comes out before Spider-Man, in which case next is Spider-Man. But if this comes out after Spider-Man, the next Super Smash So. Yeah, that's a little confusing. So they're probably like, Jesus Christ, this Review is ridiculously long. Yeah. I guess the popcorn out. Yeah, honestly, Jesus Christ, we're like Cat Edgar. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Anyway, 
Have a great day, guys. Happy New Year. Take care. Goodbye. Wait.